Chinks a village arm wrestling champion, huh? <sighs> All right, you're signed up. Next, please. What's your name? Ich bin Eta. Wait, uh, aren't you? <gasps> Did I hear that right? Is it really them? Uh, huh? Aren't they a vision bearer, though? Why are they trying to enter the clash? Uh, I, I have to ask. Aren't you the traveler that helped Liyue fight off that ancient god? Yep, correct. Oh, it's really him! The one that spoke with Lady Kuching at the Rite of Parting. Oh, oh, I wonder if I can get his Jetzt autograph later. Chance, um, yeah, I trust you are aware that uh, only those without visions can enter the tournament? Ich habe kein göttliches Auge. Really? But but from what I've heard, the things you're capable of in combat are nothing short of extraordinary. You walk into the most dangerous situations imaginable, face off against all sorts of monsters, uh, even the Fatui, and always come out on top. Yep, he still doesn't have a vision though. See for yourself. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sure a great hero like yourself would have no reason to lie. Now, could I ask you to provide a few claims to fame? Uh, it's just a formality for you, of course, but I have to make a record of competitors' achievements as part of the sign-up process. So far, I've got defeated the ancient god Osile, so that's one. Do you have any others? Uh, yeah, um, what should we then? Ich habe Dufflin gerettet, ja. Yeah, put that down. And also defeated the Fatui Harbinger child. Whoa. Might as well declare him the champion already. I wonder if it's too late to withdraw. Okay, um, that's plenty. Actually, this is the most dazzling track record I've ever seen. By a long shot. <laughs> right, your registration is complete. Now, a brief word about the prize. A great hero such as yourself can surely only be here for one thing. To win the tournament and claim the grand prize. Namely, a vision. Oh, we're not here for that. We're here because Captain Beto promised to take us to Inazuma if we win the tournament. There's another prize too? Oh, first I've heard of it. Beto must have upped the stakes this time to attract top talent. But why would anyone want to go somewhere as dangerous as Inazuma? I see. So, I take it you discussed your terms with Beto in advance then. Ich bin einfach nicht so interessiert an göttlichen Auge, das ist alles. Well, I'm sure a great hero has an important reason for being here. Anyway, the qualifying rounds are about to begin. I'll leave you to your preparation. Hey, so... Paimon's thinking about that whole no vision bearers rule in this tournament. Even though you don't have a vision, most people in Tevat think that you can't manipulate the elements without one. So Paimon thinks you probably shouldn't use your elemental abilities during the tournament. You know, just to avoid any misunderstandings. In any case, looking at the competition, it should still be pretty easy for you to win, even without using any elements, right? Yeah, sure. All right, it's showtime. You got this. You seem like you're raring to go. Are you ready to compete? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Then please follow me into the arena. Also dürfen wir noch mit Standard angreifen. Our next competitor is seen by many as the favorite to win this tournament. His first bout begins now. Y you? You're the hero they're talking about? Yeah. Ugh, how am I supposed to win now? Um. What a strange guy. Why was he so confident to begin with? Well, now that we've won, let's go and see Beto. She'll probably have something to say to us. Was das schon? So, das war ja mal gar nichts. <lacht> I knew I wouldn't regret introducing you as the favorite. So, what do you think, Kazuha? He totally dominated that guy and did it with style, too. Impressive. 
but I also observed our favorite exercise some restraint, as if to protect the opponent from serious harm. Well, I've fought my fair share of battles, both big and small. And I say, after the show he put on just now, he's more than convinced me of his ability. So come on, we all know you've got a wide vocabulary in there. Can't you spare a word or two to congratulate our up-and-coming champion? All right. Let me think how to aptly phrase these words of praise. You fought well. Ugh, all right then. <laughs> I was thinking your inner poet might want to join in the fun, but I guess I shouldn't put you on the spot like that. You know, a lot of competitors came to me saying how surprised they were that Liyue's hero was entering the tournament. And since you signed up, we've had many others do the same, with more than a few top-tier fighters among them. I'm sure lots of them are here to find out how they stack up against you. I wusste nicht, dass ich so blieb bin. <laughs> well, since everyone sees you as the one to beat, I figure I should start treating you that way too. For one thing, we don't want you wasting all your energy in the early rounds fighting people who are well below your level. Not to mention, you must be itching to fight someone in your league too, right? So, I'm putting you straight through to the semifinals. Huh? But we only just started the qualifiers. Seems like a crazy system if we just skip straight to the semifinals. This is how Captain Beto works. You won't persuade her otherwise. Besides, at your level, you would have made it to the semifinals anyway. Huh. To be fair, thinking that too. All right, I'm gonna watch some more of the tournament. If there's any potential contenders for you out there, I want to know who they are and what they're about. We're finally here, folks. The real show is about to begin. <laughs> the captain seems to have high hopes for this tournament. I have not seen her so excited in quite some time. Your opponent has fought many rounds to get to the semifinals. This makes him a seasoned warrior. You may well be stronger than him, but this should not give you cause to lower your guard. Ich habe nicht vergessen, warum ich hier bin. Very well. Show me that you are ready to push through the storm that lies ahead. All right, that's enough chit chat for now. The audience is waiting. Go find the crew member that signed you up. She'll take you into the arena. Okay. Your opponent in the semifinals is new to the Crux Clash, but he has quickly become the dark horse of the tournament. I do not doubt your abilities, but I would suggest that you make sure you are fully prepared before you begin. Relax, my guy's at the top of his game. He ain't gonna lose. Interessant, ich bekomme hier ein paar Schmetterlinge im Bauch. Don't worry, take some time to compose yourself. At last, the moment we've all been waiting for. The semifinals have begun. Who's it gonna be this time? The hero or the dark horse? I don't care about the prize. You're a strong opponent. That's what I'm here for. Sollte ich vielleicht das Schwert wechseln, weil der so viel einsteckt? I'm sweating all over. It's a good feeling. Na dann ist ja alles gut. Congratulations. I was beaten by the best. I need to train harder. Ich denke, du hast das Potenzial, ein Sieger zu werden. Right. For a moment there, Paima was a little worried. If you had a vision, you'd definitely be one of the strongest around. I wanted a vision once, when I was a kid. People said that if you're strong enough, you'll have your chance to get one. But mine never came. I lost interest eventually. You can't depend on a vision like you can your own body. I've fought and won against vision bearers before. The power they have was given to them by the gods. I don't envy it. Huh? You mean you didn't sign up to try and get your hands on that masterless vision? No, I didn't. I only wanted to pit myself against other fighters and see who was the strongest. 
Only in defeat can you understand your weaknesses and learn from them. So I'm pleased with today's outcome. I don't often have the pleasure of experiencing defeat. Wow! Now that's true strength talking! If you have the chance in the future, please come and spar with me again. I will be stronger next time. Hoffentlich. Und nicht ebenso. Uh, by the way, do you know who else made it into the finals? Is it gonna be someone even tougher than you? Whether they'll be as tough as me, I don't know. But what I have heard is that they're extremely quick. So don't get too cocky. There he goes. Maybe we should ask around, see what we can find out about our opponent in the final round. Paimon thinks we might need to up our game a little. Ah, it's you! <laughs> I watched your match. What a stunning performance. I myself was eliminated in the third round. <sighs> Shame. If only I could have advanced one more round. Ah, uh, maybe next time, huh? Uh, by the way, do you happen to know who else advanced to the final round? Why, yes. He's the same one who defeated me. He is a formidable opponent, quick on his feet and swift to take advantage of his opponent's missteps. I faltered for but a brief moment, but before I knew it, he had me on the floor. Given my stature, I have no fear of squaring off with physically strong opponents. But faced with a nimble, agile opponent such as him, I found myself completely out of my league. Still, I'm sure he'll be no match for you. <laughs> okay. Das klingt ja schon begeisternd. Unser Bade wird es wahrscheinlich sein. Hey there! Uh, well, where did the other guy go? He tried to use force dispersal to deflect a punch, but instead he took it straight to the nose. There was blood all over the place. His opponent was pretty freaked out by it. He kept asking him, why didn't you dodge? But he was pretty much out cold by that point and couldn't reply. Why don't you dodge, they ask. Because to not dodge is the very essence of Ling Shun Clan Kung Fu. It's just that he hadn't quite mastered it yet. Don't even get me started. I spent all my energy helping him get from here to the boat to take him back to the harbor. But by the time I got back, my scheduled match time had already passed and I had to forfeit. I don't dare tell my master about this, otherwise I'd never hear the end of it. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining in front of you like this. I'm afraid I'm still a bit out of sorts at the moment, so I probably won't be able to help you with whatever you were here to ask me about. Oh, all right then. Hope your buddy makes a swift recovery. Hang in there. Thanks, I'll do my best. <sighs> we still haven't got any useful information yet. Maybe we... You gave an outstanding performance. Truly commendable. I could sense that you're not familiar with bouts of this kind. And it could have cost you the match. But you were quick to adapt and managed to claim victory over your opponent. That is a most invaluable skill. In fact, I discerned this not from what I saw, but what I heard. The ground beneath your feet and the pattern of your breathing. But it is nothing remarkable, for I discerned nothing more than Captain Beto did. <laughs> He's right. But in my case, I was purely relying on previous experience. I guess not using your elemental powers must be quite new for you, huh? Yeah, that's just this. We wanted to ask about who our opponent will be in the final round. Do you think they'll be stronger than the one we faced in the semifinals? Not exactly. Contenders that reach the finals aren't necessarily stronger. They tend to have something unique about their style. As for the guy you'll be facing, his skill lies in his speed, and he has superior form. It's also obvious that he's seen his fair share of battles. What's the matter? Worried that you've bitten off more than you can chew this time? Vorsicht ist besser als Nachsicht. If that is the case, then I have a proposal for you. Let's go somewhere a little quieter, shall we? I haven't properly introduced myself yet. In the land of Inazuma, I was a wandering samurai. Uh, yeah, we could tell that from your getup. 
But at the same time, when you talk, you don't really sound like someone who's used to waving a sword around. It is true that I am versed both in literary and martial traditions. But on the straggling path of a wandering samurai, is there harm in acquiring a surplus skill? I do not mean to flaunt my martial prowess, but I myself have witnessed reputable fighters hailing from across the lands. I do possess some knowledge regarding your opponent's particular skill set. Given your talents, a few hints from me will be all that's necessary to bring your opponent down. Hang on, don't you think you're bending the rules a bit there? Gathering intelligence is an essential part of any duel. You must know your enemy. Besides, our favorite here has fought many battles on their journey from Mondstadt. Such impressive feats require more than just bravery alone. You betcha! Uh, wait a second. We never told you that we've been to Mondstadt. <laughs> Does one not leave a trail when traveling through the wild? In return, nature also leaves its traces upon you. However, there is only so much that can be discerned from these traces. I sense that many things about you elude me still. These are the things I am curious to know about. Give Come with me. Of. Some post-match entertainment is in order. Folgt jetzt zu einem friedlichen Ort. Ein friedlicher Ort. Wer das schon sagt, ein friedlicher Ort. Ich traue den Ganzen gerade nicht sonderlich. Ich sehe hier Ort eigentlich auch nicht. Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of the matter. You are skilled in manipulating the elements, and not just a single element but multiple. Is that correct? Kein Wunder, dass du das in der Arena nicht angesprochen hast. Paimon knew that you were hinting at something from the moment we met. You've known all along. That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say it would cause some unwanted misunderstandings. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations, given your reluctance to use elemental skills even in the heat of a match. <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Since a young age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the breath of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing more. As crazy as all that sounds, somehow Paimon still believes you. My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision. And not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. Could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? Alles, was ich getan habe, war eine Statue der Sieben zu berühren. Hmm. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat? Es ist alles so dank Paimons Kameradschaft. Aww, it's nothing really. Paimon just told him whatever came to mind. It's been a long journey, and many things have happened along the way. Somehow, he just naturally learned to use the elements to it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. 
Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Klingt gut. Now then, let's test your skills, shall we? Besiege die Monster, um Katsua deinen elementaren Fähigkeiten zu zeigen. Crush! Das sind wirklich keine Kunst. Die Eisleim ist schon. Das ist mir etwas nervig, aber. Die Kunst ist es auch nicht. Hm. Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attacks should pose no threat to you. Ich danke dir. Ich werde ihn nicht unterschätzen. Please, save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems, and one will always encounter that which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions, but don't you already have your own? Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods, and what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions. My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have regarding Inazuma. Ich tappe in der Tat in Dunkeln, also kläre mich bitte auf. So that's what you're curious about? <laughs> <laughs> then allow me to tell you more. As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Visions are a gift bestowed by the divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. In the outset, Supposing each of the seven Archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? Not to mention, with no new Electro visions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Oh? 
Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? Das ist jetzt schon eine ganze Weile her. With time, we will change. But the Shogun will remain the same. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Sicher, lass uns zusammen gehen. Very well. Let's go. I wish to see who will obtain the vision. Wie? Why isn't he here yet? Never mind. We can start by making your entrance first. Everyone, listen up! Your attention, please! We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash! This is the final match! We've seen many exciting battles today, and now, at long last, the two finalists have emerged. Now, I'd like to introduce our first combatant. Though few have seen him, his reputation knows no bounds. He strikes fear into the heart of Osile, and the mere mention of his name causes even the Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. Introducing Liu's traveling hero! Wow! Uh, I've been waiting for this moment! I'm sure everyone witnessed his thrilling match in the semifinals. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. As for our other combatant, uh, he still hasn't arrived. Oh, come on, what could be taking him so long? You can't just forfeit for not showing up like in previous rounds. <laughs> This is the finals. Apologies, everyone just sit tight. Vielleicht hat er sich die Zeit falsch gemerkt. Got no other choice. If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to postpone the match. Wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right about this. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. Traveler, come with us. Ähm. Let me see. It's gone, all right. The vision is missing. Huh? Did somebody? S We don't know when it was taken exactly. I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Beto. No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. Hmm. The culprit has only acted recently. They will not have gotten far. The vision was the prize that I had offered, and it was my responsibility to look after it. I will be certain to get it back. Well, if you insist. I'll leave the matter to you then. I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to all the spectators that came to see the match. If you would, please come with me. Mein Gegner ist sowieso nicht aufgetaucht. Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. Na dann. Dann folgen wir mal dem Wind. Huh? A wind current? The winds have come at an opportune moment. Let's seize this chance. Ja, das ist okay. Ride the winds upward. From there we can continue our search for clues. I heard it the moment it was stolen. Well, then why didn't you stop him? You'll see shortly. Er wird's halt nicht sein. Who is one? Who is one? I swear by my sword. Ha! 
einfach in Ruhe raufhauen. Loot, 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 Loot. Sirik, ja, aber. Wir analysieren und wir sehen hier nichts. Außer dass der da steht. Okay. The winds are guiding us forward. The culprit is on the opposite shore now. You can hear that too? What does it sound like? Hm. Hubris. This way. Follow me. There may be an ambush waiting for us up ahead, but I trust that you are well prepared for such a scenario. Wir sind zu tief. Zu tief, zu tief, zu tief, zu tief. Porters, they're here! Get them! Treasure hoarders, just as I expected. In which case, please stand back. And fight, lousy Dieben. Oops, that's not falsch. Watch the chest. You caught up with me? How is that possible? I had even prepared a boat to ensure a quick getaway, and still you caught up to me! No boat could ever match the speed of the wind. The wind? What are you talking about? Oh, I get it. Your vision. Drat! If I only had a vision! Or, if I could activate this one, then you'd never be able to catch me! This has nothing to do with visions. You may be skilled at vanishing from a crowd, but it seems you know precious little about how to conceal yourself from nature's gaze. Additionally, your chosen escape route was flawed for reasons that are too numerous to go into, and on top of that, I could hear your boasting and proud laughter in the wind as I was pursuing you. In other words, you failed to meet any of the basic criteria for a grand heist. Namely, speed, stealth, and style. You... You... But most disappointing of all is the state of the vision in your hand. It appears that the vision doesn't respond to human desire indiscriminately. Fine! Fine! I admit it. I've had my eyes on this vision for quite some time now. I decided to register after hearing that this fighting contest was full of a bunch of lousy fighters. I fought my way to the finals and... Aha! So you were supposed to be our opponent! I'd intended to win the contest through skill alone all along, but then you showed up. After watching the semi-finals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance. But I wasn't about to give up on the vision so easily after coming all this way! Since there was no use in trying to face you in the match, I decided to put my skills to good use while everyone's attention was on you and Beto. I was convinced I prepared thoroughly for my escape, but somehow you still managed to catch up to me. Give me this good After own. all I went through to get it? I think not. Es wird die Konsequenzen haben, wenn du dich so weiterwerfst. <laughs> I know an empty threat when I hear one. Wenn du das göttliche Auge aufgibst, lassen wir dich gehen. Fine. But you'd better mean it. It didn't activate once I took it anyway. It's nothing but a useless shell to me. You know, according to the laws of the sea, the penalty for stealing is breaking the culprit's arms. Huh? You're not serious, are you? 
Not to mention that the item you stole was a prize. You didn't show up for the final match, and you damaged the reputation of the captain of the Crux fleet. It seems that it would be only fair to brand the word thief on your forehead with a hot iron. Whoa, whoa! We don't need to go that far, do we? <laughs> I never would have guessed you could be so cruel. If this is where talking gets me, then forget it! I'll risk a fight! Na dann, probier's. What are you trying to do? Die letzte Angriff sogar. Revenge, eventually. No, no, do what you want, but please don't brand my forehead, please. <sighs> he has persevered to the bitter end, and now death looms near. Yet still, the gods do not bestow their favor upon him. Put down the vision and leave. I've changed my mind. No further punishment for you. Uh huh? What's wrong? Are you asking for more punishment? It's up to you. Such willingness is commendable and fits the way of the samurai. No, no, no need for that. Thank you for releasing me. You truly are generous. Huh? Paimon doesn't get it. Were you just trying to scare him? I take no pleasure in frightening others. I was just testing all possibilities while the vision remained in his hands. When people are forced into a corner, that is when their greatest strength will appear. I thought it may be an opportunity for him to awaken the vision. But unfortunately, nothing happened. Du hast das also die ganze Zeit yes. Geplant. I wanted to know whether it were possible for an extinguished vision to be reawakened. From the moment he stole the vision, I decided to use him for this experiment. I've tried many other methods in the past, though few tales tell of a masterless vision reawakening. After seeing you command multiple elements, I figured that nothing is impossible. Come, why don't you give it a try? Let's see if you can give me the answer I'm hoping for. Ich werde es versuchen. Huh. The vision didn't seem to respond at all. I see. So you are also unable to rekindle the vision. No matter. This was expected. I suppose this vision is still mine to take for now. Warum hängst du so an diesen göttlichen Augen? Yeah, what's the story behind this vision anyway? The story begins with an old friend. 